Hi, my name is Sam Grossman, and this is a video about the Haitian Revolution. The Haitian Revolution took place in St. Domingo, which is south of North America and is what is now Haiti. St. Domingo had a thriving economy before the revolution. They were the richest colony in the world at the time. Um, all their wealth came from slaves who had made up 90% of their population. St. Domingo produced 50% of the world's coffee and 40% of the world's sugar. Both coffee and sugar were extremely valuable at the time. They were made up of four main social classes, the Grand Blancs, les jeunes de couleur libres, les petites Blancs, and slaves. The Grand Blancs were rich white people who owned plantations and slaves and made up a small part of the colony. Les jeunes de couleur libres were rich people of color who were free, owned plantations and slaves. However, they were discriminated against by the whites who had even had, by whites who had more money and less money. Les Petites Blancs were poor white people who were artisans, shoemakers, bakers, hotel owners, etc. And then the slaves were the ones who worked for on the plantations. What happened? To, for the Haitian Revolution to take place, uh, French introduced the Dobermack, which was the Declaration of the Rights of the Man and of the Citizen, in 1789. Article 1 of that stated that men are born free and remain equal in rights. This was, of course, translated in many different ways among the different social classes. The Grand Blancs, or the rich whites, felt as though they should have equal say in the French government as the rich white people who actually lived in France. Les jeunes de, de couleur libres, or the rich people of color, felt like they, they were free and wealthy, so they should have the same amount of rights as the rich white people. The petite blancs felt like since they were white, they deserved to be higher up than the rich people of color. Slaves felt like they should be free and equal to all others. This later leads to a slave revolt, led by a man named Toussaint Louverture. Toussaint was at once a slave and joined the Spanish military to revolt against the French. Since the French could not defeat the slaves, along with the other wars that they were in, they eventually freed all of the slaves. The slaves founded Haiti as their own country in 1804. So was this a successful revolution? Some might say no due to the fact that, extreme, that Haiti is now extremely poor and over 55 of their population lives under the poverty line. However, I believe that it was a successful revolution. The revolution was a success at the time because even though nowadays they might not be as rich as they were, the people that were slaves there are still free. And who knows how that would have played out later on in, the, in later years to come. Uh, one modern day connection that you could make would be the Black Lives Matter movement. Black Lives Matter was created in 2013 and is a movement against racism and racial profiling in America. This relates to the Haitian Revolution because in both African Americans were being discriminated against and not given equal rights as white people.